Hey, you guys. Welcome, welcome. It's Delicious Tip Tuesday. I'm, I'm going to try my luck at going live on Instagram, too. Oh, of course. It's going to take a second. Oh, I'm live. Hey, okay. You guys, welcome. I'm live on Instagram for the first time, and I am so sorry that you're seeing my the true colors of my setup here. My background's held on the wall with duct tape, so you're gonna probably see some of that on Instagram. Yay! Okay, let me know who's here. I don't know, this is my first time on Instagram, so I'm going to be kind of watching my phone a little bit. And um, I've got one viewer, yay! So welcome, you guys, we're doing a new thing. This is the first time ever. Yay! I thought we needed a tip Tuesday. So every Tuesday we'll come at you live with a tip for how to grow your intuition. And today's tip is actually stolen or duplicated, I should say. Kind of stole for myself, really. Um, is stolen, duplicated from what I just uh, did in the in my delicious Academy of Spiritual Growth. The lesson this week was this lesson. I'm gonna. <clears throat> Hi, you guys. Hi, Instagrammers. Oh my gosh, how exciting. Okay, so, um, so, sorry, I can't be looking at Instagram. I'll get distracted. But anyway, okay, so for those of you just joining in, I'm Jill Hoyrup, Master Psychic, Intuitive Healer, and Mentor, and I love all things intuition. Got into Intuit, well, got into energy healing in 2003, never looked back, started to develop my intuition very slowly. I'm a huge like in my brain person, well, not anymore. So <clears throat> I had to really train myself out of my thoughts and into my feelings. I had to train myself um, working with a mentor as well on, you know, how to tap into intuition. And good thing I have it right here. I teach, and we'll do this another time if you haven't already seen the videos on it. I teach to keep a vibe vibe or intuition notebook and it's a place where you can write down all your impressions and your intuitive hits anything that comes to you that um that is important or maybe it's, you it's not important and you don't know yet that it's important so <clears throat> i love it instagram okay cool so okay nobody's over on facebook yet so we're getting started sorry instagram is you're missing kind of what I have on the screen, but I'm going to be talking. So that's it. So today I thought it would be fun to do a, do a little lesson on how you can use crystals or gemstones or rocks or whatever you want to call them to enhance your intuition. And if you don't already have one, um, Judy Hall's Crystal Bible book is a really great reference book. And there's so many more out there. I'm just excited about this one because my mom just came to Belize um, at the beginning of the year and she brought me my books. And so I'm really happy to have my books. So I was kind of perusing to see, you know, what they thought were the best ones. So I've picked three for us to talk about today, three crystals. And the homework at the end of this is going to be for you to go out and find one of these crystals for yourself, one that you're drawn to, and it could be a different one, you guys. It doesn't have to be one of these. I just um, picked these, you know, as a reference point and for something to say. Um, so, hello, Katie's here. Hi, Katie. Collins, Jojo. See, it's funny, you guys. I don't know all your Instagram handles. Flat out winnings here. Pamela's here. Yay. Welcome. Okay. So, I'm double living Facebook and Instagram. I'm feeling very multitasking. All right, so today, if you are just joining us, we're talking about um, using crystals to enhance intuition. So if you already have crystals that you're using and you want to try these new ones, sorry, I've got fans going, so you know it's hot here. Um, then just pick a crystal that you're drawn to. And it might be one of these that I'm gonna talk about or it might be one that you're already using that you like, I would kind of suggest for you to try something new because each crystal has its own properties, has its own, um, gosh, like specialties, really. It has its own, you know, ways that it packs a punch. So 
um, try something new. And one good way in general to work with crystals is to carry it around with you every day for a week. You see how it feels, see what goes on when you've got that crystal with you. And um, <clears throat> hey, Mona, hey, D, welcome, you guys. And what you're doing when, when, when you're practicing by just carrying it around, and you don't even have to know anything about the crystal. You can just slip it in your pocket, put it in your purse. Women like to put them in their bra. I mean, it's a good, you know, place that doesn't, you know, fall out, maybe. So, um, yeah, comedy hour. You guys, so, um, what you'll feel when you have that crystal is you're just going to be noticing. You're just going to be noticing what's different, noticing what you notice. And you're going to see how this crystal might affect you. You can sleep with it. You can put it in your purse. You can carry it. You can set it on your desk at work. Um, I will sometimes, you know, I'll have them. I use them for healing a lot. So I'll have them on my lap. I'll sleep with it. I'll hold it. There's all sorts of ways. Whatever feels good to you. And if you feel like you need a, need a reference book and or Google, obviously, um, there's lots of books out there that you can choose from. So right now I just, I had Crystal Bible, so I was um, kind of excited to use my book today. Okay, Mona's saying that um, yesterday she bought a lapis lazuli and blue kyanite. Nice, left with them under her pillow. So what happened when you did that, Mona? Anything? Did you feel anything? Experience anything? Just checking. Hi, Instagram. Hi, Paul on Instagram. I'm loving the Instagram. I think it only lasts for 24 hours, but in any case. Okay, so let's get started. We're not trying to take your whole day. All right, so the first one. So these three, actually, I would say are pretty good go-to um, go crystals. And while we're talking about enhancing intuition, there's so much more that they do. So first off, of course, is amethyst. So here's your amethyst, oops, sorry. Got to get my Instagrammers in here too. So amethyst is, I mean, I probably would say this about quite a few stones, but amethyst is like hands down the best stone. It's so good for so much. I need to get my notes. So this one, or sorry, give me a second here, you guys. Okay, good. So this here is kind of a rough one. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. We're just getting started if you're just joining us. So we're talking about how crystals, using crystals can enhance your intuition, okay? So this is kind of a rough one. It's kind of more like a rock. It seems a little bit polished, though, to me. And here's a nice polished one. So amethyst is just a powerful protective stone. It's a high spiritual vibrating stone. Um, it's good for healing, cleansing, and spiritual awareness. Mental calming. It helps with decisions. I learned that today. Um, good for spiritual wisdom. It enhances psychic gifts. Place it on your third eye to stimulate your third eye. Don't you like how my nail polish kind of matches? Mm -hmm. I'm a purple girl. Um, if you sleep with it, you may experience out of body um, experiences. Just make sure you come back to your body. And um, also when you sleep with it, intuitive dreams. Who's been having weird dreams lately? I've been having a lot of dreams. I usually do not remember my dreams. I am a dream maniac the last little bit. And it's the, I know we're out of it now, but the eclipse energies, the, I know we just had the new moon, um, lots going on energetically. There's geomagnetic storms today. I just read an article. So things are happening energetically. So if you're picking up on that kind of stuff, you might be dreaming more. Or if you're not used to remembering your dreams, you might be remembering your dreams. So, so amethyst also transmutes lower energies. So this is such a good one. This is such a good one to have in general. If, if you could only buy one stone, this would be it. That's how much we love amethyst. Andrea's here. 
Okay, Mona's answering the question and she is saying that she slept well, don't remember any of the dreams. Um, I don't know, I'd have to look up what stone would help you remember dreams. Now, you can set an affirmation and intention before you go to sleep that's supposed to help you remember your dreams. Um, it doesn't always work for me, but you know, one thing you can do too is keep a notebook handy for when you do wake up. I know that if I don't write my dream down right after I wake up, when I finally do wake up, like during the day, I realize I had a dream, but what was it? So I know it's good to see you here. My friend in Germany, yay. So, um, all right, cool. That's amethyst. So the next one is quartz. There's other colors of quartz. We're just talking about clear quartz. What Andrew is asking, what if I sleep really bad? So, well, there could be, I would have to look into that in a minute intuitively, but um, so, you know, for our age, sorry, um, hormonal stuff could be it. Um, I like to take um, uh, magnesium before bed, kind of calms the nervous system. Um, I don't know, we'd have to talk more. So stay around, we'll do a little, um, we'll do a little reading session after um, because I would wanna know um, if you've always slept bad, if it's just something new, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, so let's talk about Miles, my cousin's on. Okay, hi guys, welcome. Okay, let's talk about clear quartz. Oh good, you do magnesium. Okay, so there's, so that should be helping you. I mean, it works really well for me, magnesium. All right, <clears throat> clear quartz is our next one. I just wanted to show you, a couple, sorry, Instagram a couple different kinds. So here's a little polished one, so cute, good for your pocket. And this one I love to hold, there's a little dip in it right here and there's little cracks through it and it's got a point at the end. So quartz is so good, it's such a, it's the master healer zone. So if you're doing any kind of healings, whether you know how to heal or not, this is a great stone, I love to hold it and you can heal with it. If you say I wanted to release from the heart chakra, I could hold it on the heart chakra, point it out and have that be drawn out, right? Um, or anywhere on the body. So <clears throat> clear quartz, master healer stone, so good. And um, it enhances psychic abilities and it can attune you to your spiritual purpose. And it's an all around really good it's so good to have, it's clearing, it's healing, it's, um, I'm adding protection. It can, like clear quartz is kind of another one of those like amethyst where it's like a total go-to stone, totally a good stone to have. So again, if you could only buy one stone, clear quartz or amethyst, okay. Yeah, love it, all right. So the next one, and I learned a lot about fluorite today, even though I've been using it for a long time, I didn't realize the extent of it, which is why it's been so good to kind of revisit, right? So fluorite comes in various colors. It's a highly protective stone. It cleanses and stabilizes your aura. And it draws off negative energies. Hi, Seema, welcome. It heightens intuition and it can stabilize your emotions or the effect of your emotions, which is kind of cool. So here is, so like I said, it comes in different colors. So I should stop. Clear, <laughs> I'm jumping ahead. The clear fluorite, which I don't have any of, is good for your crown chakra and it harmonizes intellect with spirit. Okay. And then it's funny because this phone picks up way more like I'm hiding over here on Facebook, but over on Instagram, you're getting all of it. You're seeing it all. So here's green fluorite. I love this one. Oh my gosh. I've been using this one in the previous years quite a bit. So it is, um, 
an aura cleanser, the green one. Sorry, can't see it over here. And then violet or purple is good for third eye stimulation and meditation. So I happen to have this really pretty, um, it's called rainbow fluorite actually. So there's purple and green and white in there, maybe even a little bit of yellow. Yes, I see yellow. And it's got a point on the end and it's kind of, I mean, it's, it's small, but it packs a punch. So this is a rainbow fluorite. It's, I'm not going to tell you <clears throat> what it's about. The third eye, purple for the third eye. This is probably a combination, right? It's because it's got green, so it's an aura cleanser and a third eye stimulator. Yeah. Can you imagine? Doink. I'm just going to lay down here and <laughs> activate my third eye, right? Okay, so quick recap. Amethyst. I just wanted to give you a couple. There's so many more of you guys. There's soda light and moonstone and sunstone and turquoise and malachite. And, you know, I'm only giving you a couple to choose from. So here's your clear quartz. Super easy to get. And, you know, come, it'll come in all shapes and sizes. And then your fluorite. Clear might be best, actually, you guys. Well, it would, or purple fluorite. Depends what you're wanting to do. Okay, so your homework is to, hey, Alita. Oh my gosh, my old coworker's on. So fun. Um, so your homework, if you choose to, um, if you choose to participate in tapping into your intuition more, grab one of these stones or grab, um, grab a stone for, um, grab a stone that you are attracted to that, that you feel good about, but you could also Google other stones that you are, you are liking to see which, um, yeah, send me a WhatsApp later on Andrea. Yeah. Um, um, sorry. Gosh. Okay. So you're picking a stone that maybe you, I think it would be best if you picked a stone that you hadn't worked with before and that way you can spend the next week or two weeks with it and put it in your pocket or your purse or your bra or wherever you or hold it or sleep with it or something to be connecting with it. Um, I actually, I would suggest that you don't just sleep with it unless you're super sensitive at night and you can feel what's going on. I would prefer you use it during the day so that you can notice it as you go through the day. And when things happen or don't happen, you can kind of tune in and be like, well, I had my stone in my pocket that day and here's what happened. And then you, dun, 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 write it in your little vibe notebook and kind of take some notes on how it felt, how you might've felt different from the day before when you didn't have a stone versus now that you have a stone. And then if you've already been practicing your intuition, you're going to be no, or if you haven't been actually either one, you're going to find that your intuition is more clear or blossoming or igniting or booming, or you're getting more hits, you're getting more information, you're feeling more. Um, I want to hear all about what happens to you when you practice this with your different stone. So if you have a stone in mind, let me know, you guys. Hi, Kathy. Welcome. Seema, I don't know off the top of my head for night terrors. I would actually just Google it um, because I've never dealt with night terrors before. So let's see what we get. Well, I'm, I'm okay, here we go. See, I love it. Well, first of all, I, okay, I was just going to say black tourmaline. So um, black tourmaline, I do have one handy. If you don't know what it is, I will show you. Here's black tourmaline. I'm lying, not soda light. Hold on. It's really small, you guys. That's not one either. Okay, it's in my purse. It's in my purse. I don't have one handy. Black tourmaline would be really good. <clears throat> 
a tourmaline would be good for night terrors because it's a protection stone and repelling negativity. Um, it's saying Labradorite helps to protect and shield your aura. Um, oh, sorry, I don't know. That was for a different, that's for protection. So for actual night terrors, moonstone and amethyst. I don't have a moonstone, but here's your amethyst. I better go back to the live. Ooh, obsidian is good for, um, for, for intuition too. Alejandra, if you're not already wearing that, you might try wearing that. Yeah, black tourmaline is good. And, um, you know, I'm just going to add, because I feel drawn, um, hematite. I love hematite. It's very shiny, silvery. Oh, sorry, you guys. I can't do both. So here it is on Instagram, and here it is. So it hematite is really good too. You may not want to sleep with this one though. Maybe have it across across your room. It might be too much too much magnetic frequency. Um, but that could be a good one. And I like that amethyst. See, amethyst is like the go-to stone. I love it. So does anybody have any questions? Otherwise, we can move into a little bit of a a little bit of a Q and A for readings if you want. I've lost all my Instagrammers. Then we'll, they'll be back. I know it's kind of a weird time of day, probably. So does anybody have anything they want me to tune into real quick while we're here? We're small enough that we could um, we could do a little a little bit of a readings. Just asking. In the meantime, if you haven't yet, you can like this page, like or love it or laugh. Give me some emojis and share it. If you have people that might be interested or groups that might be interested in this video, share away and of course, roar like crazy. Well, let's see what kyanite is for. Let's check our little books. I don't know it off the top of my head. So the thing too about, um, about stones that I love is when you go to the store, when you go to your gem shop and you, oh, I, love, I miss the gem shops. We don't have any here. When, when you go to the gem shop, it's funny because there will be certain stones that just jump out at you and that you're touching and that you're wanting. Each stone has different properties, right? And so it's connecting with you on some level. So those are great to buy. And then also the ones that are repel, you're repelled by are good ones too, because there's something for you to learn from that stone. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. So anyway, so Kyanite says, um, ooh, it's from Brazil. All right, it's excellent for attune. Okay, really Mona, this is perfect for you. Excellent for attunement and meditation. It's tranquilizing and a powerful transmitter and amplifier of high frequency energies, stimulating psychic abilities and the intuition. And so it's another good one for intuition. With its ability to tune into the causal level, this stone can help spiritual energy to manifest in thought. This crystal connects to spirit guides and instills compassion. Grounding spiritual vibrations, it brings spiritual integrity and um, maturation. It facilitates dream recall. Oh, here you go. Who wanted to remember their dreams? It facilitates dream recall and promotes healing dreams. Kyanite is helpful for those making the transition through death. So this makes a lot of sense for you, Mona, because you're totally growing your gifts right now and you're doing the Reiki, you're doing the healing, you're, you're doing all these, all these things where you would be tapping into this kind of thing. So I'm not surprised that you were drawn to that one. I'm not going to read this whole thing, but it says it instantly aligns the chakras and subtle bodies, clearing the pathways and meridians. It restores chi to the physical body and its organs and healing. It stabilizes the biomagnetic field after cleansing and transformation. So, there you go. So if you're not already using your stones for healing, Mona, you could start playing around with that. So, here. Um. All right. Alejandra's asking, will I find a job that I like? I'm getting a yes to you on that. And um, I know that you'd ask this in the Ignite Your Intuition group. So, oh, hey, you guys, if you, um, if you want more of this kind of stuff, 
And I know a lot of you are already. Um, join the Ignite Your Intuition group on Facebook. Ignite Your Intuition on Facebook group. It's a free group where we talk about all this kind of stuff and we do readings. I have you practice every week. Um, so Alejandra, I'm just tuning in a little bit to your job thing. Um, so I feel like there's like 25% of you that doesn't really want to find a job. Sorry. Um, so do you want to do a little clearing on that right now? Actually, let's use our clear quartz and we'll do a little clearing on, on that. That lack of desire, I'll say. Yeah. Um, I'm just kind of sensing like some conflicted energy with finding a job. Because I know it feels like you've been looking and you've been diligent. And the only other thing I would suggest or that's coming up is to get really clear on what kind of job you want or what kind of, well, tell me how that feels for you. Tell me how that feels for, so it's a cross between the kind of job you want versus the, t the place that you want to work or where you want to be. So let me know what you think on this. And then, so it's your solar plexus. So when I, so I'm healing, I'm healing you via by healing me. So I've actually got this on my solar plexus. So I just want to draw that out. Hey, Crystal. Hello, Instagrammer. Look at me live on Instagram. I know. Super fun. Okay. I can be two places at once. All right. So let's ask this 25%, I don't want a job. So it's an attitude. It's weird, I thought it would have been a belief. It's an attitude actually, and it's your thoughts. So one thing you can do for this is you can, so there's two affirmations for you, Alejandra. One is I want to want to get a job, okay? I want to want to get a job or have a job or both. I want to want to have a job and get a job. And then the second one is um, visualizing that job that you want. And then I want you to exclaim and hoot and holler and be excited that you have a job. So you're going to be celebrating that you just got a job and you're, you are jumping up and down I got a job. Yay, I got a job. So you're getting that physicalness into and your energy into that excitement of getting a job. So do that five times a day. Just, I don't know. One, two, three minutes for three minutes. Hoot and holler, jump around, do your affirmation. So this is five times a day. And they're telling me that it would be good if you did that affirmation in the mirror. Okay, so let's go back to the healing because I got distracted, sidetracked, and there it goes. So you can get a job. You will get a job. I'm just talking to this belief and, or I mean, this attitude as it leaves your body. I'm shifting up, shifting up how it'll show up now within yourself. Yeah, it's way better. Well, see, that wasn't so hard. You're going to tell me you got a job tomorrow, right? <laughs> All right, Kathy's asking, my gosh, do you see me ever meeting a man? <laughs> Jeez, I would be like, crimes, right? I'm glad you have a little LOL after that. So I'm getting a yes to you. I got a yes immediately when I saw that, by the way. So I'm getting in about seven months. And there are a few things that you can do too to, um, to facilitate this. So by the way, you guys, whenever we do, so intuition is in this moment, okay? This is what I'm getting in this moment and it can change based on you or other people or the job or, or whatever. So, and especially with timing. I love giving timing, like I just gave you seven months, Kathy, um, but but it can shift, right? You might change your mind or maybe the, 
who I'm sensing that you're going to meet changes, you know, his mind. Um, so what I would suggest for you, Kathy, is to write a guy list or girl list. Sorry, I always just go with opposite sex. That's kind of my thing. So, so write a write a list of the type of partner you want, and you're going to be very specific in in the qualities. You're ta we're not talking height and weight and all that stuff. I mean, that's important, but you're talking lifestyle choices and spirituality and characteristics and personality traits and healthy habits. Um, I think when I did like my list, it was like five categories, right? Like spiritual, physical, personality or character, uh, activities and intellect. I don't, can't remember all of them. So, um, get really specific, get really specific about what you were looking for, because I almost kind of feel like you're sitting back, Kathy, going, who wants me? Anyone? And that, like, that's not, um, oh, yay, Seema. Um, Seema's joining Ignite Your Intuition Facebook group. Yay. But, but I mean, it kind of feels like, I don't know, there's a sense for me, Kathy, of you waiting, of you waiting for it to happen. So instead, let's be a little proactive, write your list. Tell me how this is feeling to you. Write your list and take the next month and burn it on the next new moon. Say it out loud three times and then burn it on the next new moon and just see what happens. And if you haven't already, then start trying to get out more and do different things to maybe meet some different people. I don't know if you're doing online dating or whatnot, but... Um, how does that feel to you? I feel like there's a little, there's a, the biggest message for you today is to like take the bull by the horns. Not literally, but you know what I mean? Like, like take charge of your love life and get specific about what kind of partner you want in your life. And by, by doing this list, you're letting, you're declaring to the universe, this is who, this is the type of man I want or woman. This is the type of partner that I want. <clears throat> yeah. So there's a little bit. So the thing is with the universe, you're going to declare what you want and then you're going to take some little tiny baby steps. You're going to maybe go to the party you don't want to go to, or you're going to go to a meetup, a game night meetup. One of my, my friends from Seattle um, is retired and older, you know, I don't know how old she is actually, but you know, maybe in her sixties, um, late sixties. Anyway, she went to a bunco party and ended up meeting her now boyfriend and they're like totally in love and all that stuff. So you never know, like, it, you know, friends of friends or whatever the case. So just be open and just take those baby steps. And your first baby step is going to be writing that list because I don't think you even really know what kind of person you want. So then you're meeting these guys and they're jerks or schmucks or they're not on your level or they're not really wanting to date or I don't know what all you've had you know had for dating but um that feels pretty good to me for you to um to do that okay I'm back over on Instagram for a minute um Mona's asking can I clear your son he's not studying <laughs> he is partying too much Mona <laughs> hey Annie I got my high school buds on here. Um, that's cracking me up. Um, he's not steady. Well, Mona, he is so not focused. He's having too much fun. Um, but, <laughs> sorry. I, I'm not sorry. I keep saying I'm sorry, you guys. Um, he is going to do well. and get, Yeah, he's going to do well. I feel like I feel like he's just letting off some steam. Like, is he in a new situation with school or something? Because it feels to me, Mona, like he's just almost in a little bit of information overload. But but also there's a there's a part of like being free, being free. And so he's like living it up. I don't know if that's if that is um, I don't know if that is resonating at all, but. I'm kind of like, he doesn't want to be cleared. He doesn't want to study. 
Not that we can't give them a little nudge, but. All right, Seema is saying, you inspire me every time I talk to you, so I'll feel blessed to be accepted in your group. Of course, of course. Okay, Kathy's saying, thank you so much. I don't try and I need to take a step forward. You are so darn welcome, Kathy. Yeah. So there's, I mean, it doesn't take much effort though. That's why I love teaching about baby steps too, because it's just one little, you're just showing the universe one, even if you don't know how it's going to happen or when or why or what, but, but you're showing the universe one little baby step at a time. Sometimes you do a teenage step or, you know, I take a leap off of, off a mountain, but figuratively speaking, but you, you're showing, you're constantly showing up and showing the universe. So um, come back to the page, Kathy, because I'm telling you to spend about a month on your list. Maybe let, you don't have to, you could actually, you could actually burn the list at the full moon if you want. I won't make you wait till the new moon if you feel ready, but take some time and really think about it. And you might end up kind of doing a relationship review of your past relationships to figure out what worked, what didn't work, like, what did I like about that partner? Okay, maybe I'll add that to the list for the next partner. So just get really clear. And um, I'm getting seven months, so mark it down and we'll, we shall see. I should mark it in my book too. Yay. <laughs> Mona, have him have him watch, watch the live. <laughs> just kidding. Um, he's not <laughs> Tell him to uh, tell him to uninstall his Instagram. I I I don't know. I just I feel like I can't touch that one for him. I feel like I feel like he's he's experimenting with life, right? He's at this stage of like wanting to do his own life. He's gonna probably learn a little bit the hard way though if he does get a bad grade here and there. He's got to learn to manage, you know, time manages time and his studies and into some good study habits, right? Oh, that's awesome. Yay, you guys. Okay, I was just doing a quick one today, but every Tuesday, not necessarily at this time, I, I just on a whim started it today. So I don't know if it'll be at this time every Tuesday, but, when, but once I figure out the time, it'll be at that time. So if you are wanting more deeper mentoring with your intuition. I'm relaunching the Delicious Academy of Spiritual Growth where I will mentor you in, in these kinds of things, how to tap into your intuition. We do um, lessons twice a month. We do like this. It was a little more involved for the Academy, but lessons twice a month, um, Q and A calls um, and readings. We practice our intuition. And when you first sign up, you get a spiritual and spiritual assessment, which is I will be tuning in and telling you what your gifts are, um, what your clairs are and what you who your spirit guides are. I don't get names, you guys. Sorry, I don't always get names. Sometimes I get what they look like. So spirit guides and guardian angels. So it's some really good information to start off with. if You're just jumping into your spiritual journey. And then we just, every month, we're just doing more and more practicing and learning and all of that stuff. So if you feel drawn, check it out. The page is delicious.com backslash academy. And I was so thrilled, <laughs> so thrilled that Instagram worked. I just, oh, now I know how to end it. Okay, good. So yay for all my Instagrammers. And um, thank you, Facebook, Facebookers, too. It was so good to have you on. I appreciate you being here and I can't wait for the report next week on which which stone you've picked, which which stone you're going to work with for the week and see how it enhances your intuition. I am going to use this rainbow fluorite. I actually yes, I told you to only use one, I will only use one. So I'm going to use this rainbow fluorite and I will report back. So I expect a report from everybody who does it. Yay. <laughs> Mona. Mona, you, you don't have to be a villain mom, but there's such thing as boundaries and 
discipline and routine and all of that stuff, right? So, um, so you know, from after school until dinner time, he does homework or something. You know what I mean? There's some like you figured out with how your life runs, but. I was such a good kid. I would come straight home and do my homework, practice the piano, you know, all that stuff. And then the evening was my free time. So something like that, maybe, maybe even have a discussion. I like the idea of you having a discussion and letting him choose that will actually make him feel more empowered. Mona is if you give him a chance to choose, maybe give him three options and he can choose what, what he wants to try. So anyway, Okay, Seema's doing amethyst. Yay, amethyst. Awesome. Thank you so much, you guys. And I look forward to your report next week. We'll do a little recap or a little check-in. And I can't wait to see what the, the next week's lesson is. Bye, you guys. Thank you.